Why would you think that? Well, I know a thing or two about performing. I mean, after all, I was Vin Diesel's acting coach. Okay, Vin, I like what you do in there, but I want you to try it one more time like this. Duh! And don't ever speak to me again! Wow, that turned ugly fast. Just like my trip to Tampa Bay. Hey, city boy, what's with the arm pants? Come on, you guys, Joe's gonna be fine. He'll fit in great there. Not like when I went to Hogwarts. Slytherin. Hufflepuff. Housing for registered sex offenders. Ah. We now return to Wes Anderson's Pan Up, Pan Down, French song, The End. Viens, suis moi. Je connais une heure. Wow, that was amazing, I think. Africa? We're going to Africa? I wonder if it will change us. But of course, it did change us. I've been working here for 50 years pretending I'm a woman. Do you ever regret not having children, Mother Bernadette? Oh, I've had many children. <laughs> So you're just going to be a dancer and a drug addict? For a while. I might crash when I'm 18, but then I'll just turn to the Lord and working out. I'll, I'll just be a 180-degree different type of insufferable. I used to need drugs to feel powerful, but now my power comes from my core strength. And let's look at that word, strength. The S stands for sacrifice. No gain without sacrifice. The T, of course, stands for the sufferings of the cross. The R... You want some cocaine? Oh my God, please, yes! That's all I want all the time! But I don't care. I couldn't stand another moment with Joe. It was torture just watching him do a crossword puzzle. Hey, Bonnie, what's a five-letter word for marriage? Fraud. Uh, it's got to start with a U. Union! Boy, you stink at this. I can't believe we're really in India. Oh, look over there. Those cute little kids are playing cowboys and Indians and Indians. I'm going to shoot you with my six gun. I'm going to shoot you with my bow and arrow. I'm just going to stand here wearing a shirt that appears to be a jacket. Saturday night, you and all your wives are coming to my place for dinner. Fine, we'll be there. Oh, can we make it Sunday? Saturday, I'm giving Javier Bardem a haircut. So, what'll it be? Everything. What do you mean? Long in the short places, short in the long places. It should be from both the future and the past. Something a child would do to a doll. I gotta tell you guys, I am so happy we found this. It's like when I found my thrill on Blueberry Hill. That's it? Just a bunch of blueberries? Ah, two dogs humping! Ah, this was worth the four-hour flight. What will you be having, sir? Yes, I'll have what I had last time, pheasant on the glass. Don't you mean pheasant under glass? Nope. <coughs> yeah, now turn around and lay an egg on the glass. <coughs> ah, yeah. I defy you to tell me exactly what's wrong with this. Oh, crap, what do we do about our show? Now I know how that German movie producer felt. All right, Friedrich, now that World War II is over, we can get back to making comedies again. Get me these comedy writers. Uh, I don't think any of these guys are available. What? This is terrible. Get me my agent. He's, uh, he's probably not gonna answer either. Well, this is crazy. What happened? Oh, I remember what happened. Oh, that sounds awful. It can't be any worse than our trip to Hawaii. Okay, before you do anything else, I'm deathly allergic to pineapple, pork, rum, macadamia nuts, stupid tiny guitars, overpriced golf, sentimental military stuff, lava, people who I can't tell are black or Asian, apostrophes, anyone twirling flames, second weddings, and linen pants. Is there anything you're not allergic to? Yeah, the Epcot Center, where I wanted to go. You could always just ask Peter about it. No, he won't talk about anything serious unless there's a crackling fire to punctuate uncomfortable family revelations. I didn't fall off the roof. I jumped. I never found you attractive. And what's more, I never respected you. I know about Maurice. Which Maurice? You gotta help me get rid of him, Brian. He's creepier than that guy at the gym who just does karate in the mirror. It's me. The guy's me. I'm a gym karate creep.
I'm pretty good, too. But relax. If I wanted you dead, you'd be dead. Wow, Peter, in all the years I've known you, you've never even mentioned a sister. Big deal. I don't talk about my sister. I also don't talk about that tickling uncle. All right, Uncle Dan, remember, no tickling. Hey, <laughs> you got it. <laughs> you didn't say anything about Uncle Neil. <laughs> Whose uncles are you? Couch. That's one of those words that if you say it over and over, it starts to sound silly. Joe, you need to take a class on small talk. You're not gonna believe this. I'm in one. It sure is cloudy today. Good. You could have also responded to Janet, who said her son died. I'm sorry your son died on such a cloudy day. <laughs>